All right, welcome back. As you might imagine, first alert weather day in progress through this evening. Severe storms, which again, we've seen a few pop up already. Would not be surprised to see a couple more at least. Something we're keeping an eye on, of course. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar. Take a look at an area with a lot of lightning that is around winter. Now this is one of the spots earlier. We had a severe thunderstorm warning. It has been allowed to expire as those particular storms weaken, so that is good news there. We expand for it and you can see just how much lightning is within the system. Now, this is heading toward Fargo. In fact, getting pretty close, so don't be surprised. Fargo and Moorhead within the next 15 minutes or less seeing some of these lightning strikes. Wind is picking up a little bit as well. Speaking of storms, our storm chaser Eric Whitehill is actually out right now and I believe we'll go to him and check in on what is going on on his location. Thanks, Russ. I am near Winemere, in between Winemere and Milner right now, just watching the thunderstorm that's making its way uh, from near Lidgerwood and Foreman, moving its way to the north and east fairly slowly. There's a little boundary that's just to the north of the Winemere-Milner area, watching to see if any storms can become rooted in that, and they might produce just a little bit of spin, so that's what I'm watching right now, but one thing I've noticed, Russ, is is a lot of the farm fields out here, they're getting pretty full. A lot of water in many of the ditches and in a lot of the farm fields. But good news is no hail right now from what I can see and where I'm at. But I will keep my eyes to the skies and let you know if I find anything else. Back to you in the studio. Yeah, thank you very much, Eric. Really appreciate that report. And again, I mentioned the lightning here. Not surprised about uh, those waters rising. And we've seen so much water, water, I should say, with rain recently. We've got more heavy rain on the way. And in fact, some of it coming down right now. Also, we're looking at Brown County. And this is another area. Severe thunderstorm warning was in effect. Looks like that has just expired there. So what do we have? Tornado threat. Again, it is minimal. But as Eric just mentioned, there is enough spin there to see the potential for that. The odds are low. Uh, best chance areas in include green and what we're going to watch for is overall again that low risk but that potential over the next several hours. What is a bigger threat is the wind threat. Area shaded here in brown still isolated but we have seen some strong winds and again within those severe thunderstorms could see gusts up to 70 miles per hour. Hail, that's the biggest issue. And again, we've already seen that a couple of viewer photos we had earlier. Ellendale area, also near Davenport, and also Leonard. There we go. And again, the continue opportunity to see elevated risk there. Quarter size to egg size. I'm going to move quickly through our first alert forecast for you. Again, we're going to see opportunities for heavy rain even after that threat of severe weather starts to minimize around 11 p.m. midnight tonight. Still going to see rain, not just tonight, but as we head into the morning hours as well. So what does that mean right through the afternoon? In fact, tomorrow that means the potential for more heavy rain. Check this out a little blue here indicator. We might see just a little bit of wet snow, mainly Devil's Lake region, Northeast North Dakota. Rainfall totals could see a couple inches or more an inch for a lot of folks. So rain falling on a, a lot of rain that we've seen recently. 59 in Fargo, strong winds right now. Temperatures in the 50s around the region. Again, uh, got a viewer photo for you here and we've got some of that hail on the ground. Just a quick look at our 11 day planner this weekend. Not so bad. 69 71. Maybe a chance of showers, especially Sunday late 67 on Memorial Day. Chance of showers, but again, we'll get some sun. Then next week we continue to look like we're going to see improving conditions, yeah. more sunshine, warmer temperatures, more like summer come next week, more like summer. Yes, thank you.